Hi there girly boys and welcome back to my channel. So as you probably noticed, I don't wear a wig today because we will talk about hair. Okay, I don't know why I have to point it. I mean, you obviously know what hair is. Before we get started, I have to thank my Patreons for supporting my channel. And if you want to be one of them, you can check the link in the description below. I also want to thank you very much that you keep watching my videos through this one year and a half. And I want to give you a big hug. So yeah, let's talk about hair. I only have two advices for you, which is first one, be patient. Second one, be confident. And we will talk about those two. If you are here and you expected me to talk about products and stuff like this, well, I'm sorry, but I will lie if I will tell you that I've used some products because I've only used shampoo through all of this journey. I don't know if I've done it right or not, but it seems okay for now. And yes, at the end of the video, I will show you the whole thing. I will untie it. I hope this is how you say it. Tie and untie. I hope. So yeah, let's talk about advice. First is to be patient because this will not grow like from one day to another. Well, it will grow little by little and it depends about how your hair is right now. For my hair, it took like 10 months to go. Like when I decided that I want this, it was in March after I took, a, I took my haircut. But yeah, you'll have to be patient because at one point, this will become hell. Like, it will be one point when when you will not be able to tie it, you'll not be able to uh, do anything with it, it will be all over the place and you will be annoyed by it. So you probably at that point, you'll want to cut it. And I did myself this thing. I was in a point when I was annoyed by it, so I've cut my bangs and now I actually have bangs and uh, it's very hard in boy mode to, to wear many things because many people don't know about me and sometimes I have bangs when I go to the office in boy mode but it doesn't matter you know I may look weird as a boy but at least I look good like this so the effort it's bienvenue <laughs> so yeah there will be one point when you'll be like oh you know, you'll be like, I, I want to cut it. I this is the point when I go to the hairstylist to go back to my normal haircut. Well, don't do that. Maybe you can go and cut it like a little bit because you'll be annoyed, but keep doing it if you really want it. But it will be very cool. Trust me when you'll do your makeup and you'll watch yourself in the mirror with your hair, even if even after two months of letting it grow and uh, over and over like three months, four months and so on, you know, because you'll see that you'll have many haircuts idea at that point. You look different than when you will wear a wig, but you will have that natural beauty. And who doesn't like that? So yeah, keep calm and be patient and your hair will grow. The second advice, which is to be confident, it's probably as important as the first one, because in some places, in some cultures, in some countries, you will be judged as a boy if you want to let your hair grow, because some of those people are still close-minded. And you know, I've been and you've probably been the subject of those jokes that if you have long hair, well, you are a girl. And ha ha ha, we laugh it all loud because we actually are. But yeah, this can be very, very hard in some places because it's very hard to be subject of those mean people that makes those jokes and, uh, you know, that are like very very close-minded to be honest but guess what when you'll be a beautiful beautiful girl which you are already they will want your number or your i don't know id or something and you'll be like no thanks 
because you were mean to me and now I'm that bad bitch. Suck it. You can think about that, but yeah, don't be a bad bitch. It's not so cool to do it, but you know, you have to ignore mean people. So don't let them hurt you. It may be a stupid advice, but if you are in high school and probably, I don't know, in some country that doesn't accept boys to have long hair and you're subject of jokes, well, don't let them do this to you because one day you'll be the one that will laugh. I've been to the subject of those jokes and I knew like in myself that I have to prove them wrong in some cases, like the longest hair that I ever had, it was in seventh grade when I was like uh, 14 years old and I had the hair like this. And of course, uh, people used to call me like, uh, my name is Daniel and people used to call me uh, Daniela and uh, stuff like this. And I didn't even give them the clue that I actually cross-dress in secret, you know? Because I've tried to uh, behave like a normal boy. But they kept doing this to me just because I had long hair. And that happened to me like all my life. We actually have a joke in Romania because we had the communist party which is like hey you rocker the party wants your hair to be cut off or something like this I don't know how to translate it I'm sorry that you'll be uh, the subject of some jokes it, it depends where are you living right now but keep your confidence up because you will achieve what you want so this is very very important to uh, go there and Take that goal, even if probably it will be hard, even if you, you'll probably give up at one point, then it's pretty normal. I did this like many, many times. Like my story when I decided to do this, because at one point I was like, I will wear only wigs. I will not do this. I, I will just wear wigs. I don't know actually what was the point when I started to do this, like when I wanted to uh, start my hair. To, to make my hair grow, but I've tried, like I've tried last year and before I got uh, my uh, job interview, I was with my hair like this and I was like, okay, I cannot go to the job interview with this hair because it will not take me serious. And I did, I don't know why I think it like this, but I've, trim it, you know, I've, I've cut it. So after this, after I took that job interview, I was like, okay, so from now on, I will let it grow. Oh, and besides that job interview, it was the fact that it was at that point where I cannot tie it and I could not, and it was, it was bother me. Like I was annoyed by that, you know? So yeah, I have to do it. I have to do it because I was like, working for home, from home and I had to take a job and to not be bothered anymore by the hair. But after I took the job, I was like, okay, from now on, those people will not notice me anymore. Like, they will not notice that I have long hair now because they see me every day. So, you know, when you see a person every day, you will not see the changes that happen to that person if those changes are, you know, little by little, day by day. So, I've gone with this strategy in my mind. I was like, okay, I'll let it grow from now on and we will see how long it will be. And now is the moment. I will show you how long is it. So if someone will cut this and put it on OnlyFans, it, it will sound so different. But no, it's about the hair, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's do it. I look like Dracula right now after I do this, for sure. <laughs> and I'll have to actually brush it so stay in place. Okay, I'm looking at the mirror right now because I don't have a tilt screen on my camera. So this is how long is it? right now and I was able to do those things so it was 
pretty cool. I have banks, so I can go like this after 10 months okay it sounded like 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 i want to uh, sell you a book right now <laughs> i don't know why after 10 months i have this long hair you know so buy my book i can do things like this okay it's pretty hard right now to rearrange it rearrange it so yeah this is the this is the length of it like if you watch my lives on Instagram, I've shown you many times the length of the length of the hair. This is the length of my hair right now. And I am able to do this and I'm almost like I've showed you before able to do two of this. But that was harder before. <laughs> yeah. So for the end of the video, I will only go with one. Okay, so this thing, to make this thing, it was very hard to learn. Like, trust me, I never, like, it took me like some minutes, maybe one hour to learn how to do this. Yeah, so that's it, girly boys. This is the update about my hair, and I hope those two advices will help you. And I'm sorry that I didn't talk about products, but I, I would have lied if I would talk about it because I didn't use too many. So the most important thing besides those two is to be safe and to decide for yourself when is the moment to tell everybody and to come out uh, to your family or to your friends. Well, it'll be fine, trust me. You will have to be patient and confident. Thank you very much for watching and till next time, stay awesome.